This morning I've been trying to get uh, one of the raised beds ready uh, to put some parsnip seeds in it because well, I think it's one and truly time that they were in. All the seeds that uh, came off our parsnip plants uh, last year that had gone to seed are all germinating <laughs> all over the pathway so it's definitely warm enough uh, for seeds to be germinating. So a few days ago uh, I put another pallet collar around one of the, the very small raised beds. Um, put a pallet collar at each end and then put long pieces of pallet wood down the side of it to create the next depth uh, for the bed uh, and we need to fill it with soil uh, but we don't have any and uh, I've used the last of the usable compost over on my potatoes and if you didn't see that I'll leave a link up there um, and so I need to create uh, some sort of growing space for the parsnips. So Mr J and I uh, tossed some ideas around over dinner last night about what we might do uh, and in the end I've decided that uh, I'm going to fill the bed uh, with wood chippings. These aren't wood chippings that have been around uh, for any great length of time, probably about eight months uh, so it's not that long but they have gone through the winter. Um, so I've filled the bed up and then I've scraped out furrows uh, where I want the parsnips to grow and I'm going to fill those uh, with shop-bought compost which is not ideal because most of all we'd like to use things that we've got on site uh, but uh, we'll do that because I actually don't want uh, terribly wiggly <laughs> parsnips or, or ones that are forked and, and uh, uh, difficult shapes to, to use. They're all usable, uh, just it's easier if they're long straight parsnips. So I'm going to fill the furrows uh, with compost and sow my seeds on top. that done and uh, God, to be honest I'm pretty pooped now uh, so the last thing that's left to do uh, is to get some parsnip seeds in there um, I'm going to be spacing the seeds about uh, four to five inches apart um, previous years I've scattered them on uh, and there have been way too many and then I've tried to thin them out or worse still I've forgotten to thin them out last year uh, I did this really quite a wide spacing between the seeds and we've had we had a fantastic crop uh, of parsnips. Uh, the tops have been three to four inches across the top. They've been about a foot long and they've tasted amazing. Uh, so again this year I'm going to plant the seeds uh, quite spaced out uh, if it looks after a few weeks uh, like it. Uh, there are some that haven't germinated. Uh, I will re-sow uh, with a few more but um, <sighs> I'll re-sow with a few more. So I've paused because I can hear a big fat bumblebee uh, which is really nice. Uh, April the where are we are? About the 9th or something uh, and a big fat bumblebee. Lovely. Uh, so yes back to the parsnips. So I've got that left to do and I'll just cover them over and then uh, I will cover the the whole bed uh, in a piece of fleece uh, or a couple of pieces of fleece um, and then I'm going to put 
uh, pallets over the top just to hold the fleece in place uh, and then once they've started germinating uh, I'll take the pallets and the fleece off. The pallets won't be there for anything more than a holding the fleece in place and b uh, discouraging the cats from lying on the fleece because they like fleece. It's warm and cosy. Uh, I guess it's like having a little uh, duvet or something but anyway. I don't know if you can hear that bumblebee. <laughs> I have a feeling it might be on me, uh, in which case I'll stay quite still. Uh, I won't make any sudden movements. Uh, <laughs> can't see it so maybe it's moved away um, sidetracked again so that will then be the, the bed of parsnips done and I can start moving on to some of the other beds For the rest of the day, well, I think the key is in the, the first bit of that sentence. I am going to rest uh, for the rest of the day. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you can join me again tomorrow. <laughs>